Good morning, people. It is Tuesday. It's so cold in here today. <laughs> I'm freezing. Um, I hope you are a little bit warmer than me. Um, and I hope that you are having a good morning. If you've woken up today feeling a little bit stiff and sore, then you are in the right place because I am doing a session today on hips, lower back, and that dull ache that we get down the leg as well. And this is for anyone really, even if you, if you don't move much and you've woken up and you feel stiff and sore, if you felt it for a couple of days, um, then you might want to give these a go. And also if you do work out a lot, these, these uh, exercises really help out runners, people that work out uh, their lower back and bum. Uh, their bum and their legs like a deadlift and stuff like that so it's actually really good for everybody um, my room's a little bit of a mess because I have been busy in here this morning I have been working out so I'm very happy to be doing some good deep hip stretches with you I'm going to say a quick hello quick good morning to everybody and uh, then we're going to get on and do it if you don't know who I am hi I am Lisa I'm a health and confidence coach and I have been here with you every single day, Monday to Friday at 9am, to talk about the importance of movement and to give you some good demos of uh, movements that you can do that help you uh, get through the aches and pains of daily life. Um, so here we go. Oh, I think there might be a bit of cat drama going on in my garden. Hold on. Just in case. Okay, perfect. So today, Tuesdays are all about deep hip stretches, uh, and these are for your sore hips, the lower back pain that we get around here, and the pain that runs down the leg there as well. So, um, perfect. What I usually like to do for these uh, kind of pains is to give it a little mobilise before we get into a deep hip stretch. So I know it's also important for us to get this done uh, in a short amount of time because time is one of the factors uh, or one of the reasons why you don't find the time to do it. Perfect, there's my little cat just come back through the window so I know she's gonna be fine now, that's great. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to start off with some nice gentle exercises and then we're going to move into some holding exercises that are really going to make you feel some great uh, relief in those sore areas that I was just talking about. So what we're going to do for number one is we're going to find ourselves a wall. You can hold a chair, you can be on the sofa, kitchen counter if you're in the kitchen. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do some nice little leg kicks out to the side and these are nice and controlled hold on to the wall of the chair if you have some trouble with balance especially if your body is tempted to get involved we're just going to do 10 up to the ceiling love it from there we're going to do backwards and forwards nice again i'm going to focus on really pushing that heel into the floor and I'm going to let my leg go all the way back and all the way forwards. And I'm going to do 10 of them as well. This is so nice uh, for the hips. And if you've ever been like running or walking and you get that, uh, it's like it's happened to me a lot, especially whilst I've been training for runs, um, that I'll get like a sudden jolt down the leg and my hips just feel awful. And I'll just pop over to the side of the road. And I would do some of these just to really help me out and help those hips out. That is generally coming from uh, if you are a runner and you get what I'm talking about there. It's because we spend a lot of time running in one direction so that hip hips are only doing this kind of movement. It never gets to go out to the side. And that's why we get that pain there. Nice. No, so we're just going to loosen it up. So I'm going to do 10 there and then I'm going to do... 10 backwards and forwards as well love it nice and they don't have to be um massively enthusiastic i don't want you to kick it all the way up and let it go all the way back we're just gonna let it 
work within its own range of motion nice and loosely we're not forcing it anywhere perfect so we've done those nice what we're just going to do here is we're just going to you can again hold on to the wall or the sofa if you need to and you're going to do some nice rounding of the knees so you're going to draw a big circle with the knee all the way around and all the way down we've got a good anchor good heel in the floor we anchor it by pressing it and screwing it in we're going to do 10 of those those hips are already going to feel so much nicer now nine nice we have to pop over here and do it on the other side hold on to your wall chair if you need to and please don't try to get any of your body involved just simply just drawing a circle with the knee. Nice. And we're drawing 10 of them. Perfect. They're really good ones for the hips there. Love it. Nice. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to try and help out the lower back and that little pain that goes down the leg. What we're going to do here is stick our chest out and shoulders back, but I just want you to make sure that your rib cage is over your belly button little bum squeeze, little core squeeze, keeping that position. You're going to stick your bum out to bend over. Got the hands rolling down the knees here, keeping my chest and shoulders back. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is push your heels into the floor and really squeeze your bum. Nice. You're going to start to feel this up the back of the legs here. And then what I want you to do for me is see how far you can reach down. I'm going to do 10 gentle pulses. Nice. Three, two, one, perfect. We're just gonna do a little stretch down there. Yes, I really want you to push it in, squeeze your bum and hold it for me. Nice, you're gonna get a nice feeling up the back of the legs there, good stretch. Love it, well done. From here, what we're gonna do is take ourselves down to the floor. Yes, we're gonna get into a nice little tabletop position here. What I want you to do is push your hands into the floor, they're right under the shoulders. Then what we're going to do here, ooh, what are we going to do here? We're doing fire hydrants. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knee into one knee and then you're going to use your bum to lift your knee out to the side. That's it. We're just going to do 10 of them. Nine, 10. Perfect. You're going to have to turn it around and do it again. But make sure that those hands are pushed into the floor. And you've got a good bum squeeze before you go. And you want your knees at a similar, uh, like opposite your hands. Nice. And your bum is in charge of lifting your knee up. We're doing 10 of them. Perfect, well done. Good stuff. From here, what I want you to do is keep those hands pushed into the floor. And I want you to use your hands to push your bum down to the floor. You're going to squeeze your bum. You're going to walk your fingers forwards. You're going to have a deep breath out. Nice. Squeeze that bum. Well done, well done. From here, what we're going to do is bring your bum into your hands and give it a little press in. And still want your hands pressed fully into the floor. Don't want any of this going on. Giving it a good press. Nice. We're going to squeeze the bum. Well done. Perfect. Hold it there just for a second. Love it. From here, we're going to bring it back. You're going to bring one knee up. We're going to stick one foot out. We're going to use our hands to press you down on top of that leg. You can draw those hands in to press you down a little bit more if you can. This one can bring, uh, you can feel this one quite a bit in your bum and your hips. So it doesn't matter if you can't sit on the floor. All that matters is that you're feeling a good stretch in the hips and in the bum there. Nice. Perfect. So we're going to change it then. We're going to bring one knee up. We're going to stick one foot out. We're going to use our hands to press us back down onto the floor. We're going to squeeze our bum. Nice, well done. I can see a couple of people have popped on, so please tell me. I mean, obviously, don't jump up and do it now, but tell me if you're joining in. You can tell me afterwards, that would be lovely. 
This is a uh, one that I did a couple of weeks ago actually and the girl actually said live how amazing it was and that she was rolling around the floor like a nut but she was so sick of feeling that pain in her hips that she just thought well I'm going to do it and she did it and she said she instantly felt amazing. I actually have those comments somewhere, I'll post them. So, I'm sorry, I need to demo that. What I've done there is I've just taken myself over to the wall and I've put my toe up against the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my knee, oh, my foot, not my knee, and I'm gonna press that into the floor. Now, if you haven't done this before, you're going to feel it. You're gonna feel it down this leg, not this one. You're going to find it hard to get up, but what I'll need you to do here is either you can use the sofa actually and you can hold on to that, you can hold on to the wall here, or you can put some things on the floor like a chair that you could hold on to whilst you're doing this. It's very tempting to put yourselves over here, but what we're trying to do is stretch those hips so that this makes it ineffective. So we're going to try to get up. This is a painful stretch. Uh, it feels like your quad or your, your, the top of your thigh is literally gonna pop off your leg. And that just means that we're doing a good job of stretching it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus first on getting up without the balancing. If you need to balance, it's cool because you're still feeling it, it's great. We're gonna focus on the heel going into the floor. And then we wanna ask our hips if you can, it's only if you can, if you're still here, it's fine. We want to ask our hips if they can face the wall over the other side of the room and then we're going to try to drive our hips into this heel and we're just going to hold this here for a little while, it's annoying. This is one of the most, uh, one of the stretches that gives the most feedback but it's also one of the most effective stretches that I've ever taught. Um, everybody feels the difference in this one immediately and that's why we do it. I'm not leaning on my leg. <laughs> nice. We're just going to give this one a little changeover. We're almost done here. So we're going to point that, put that toe up against the wall. We're going to let the knee come down to the floor there. And then we're going to focus on putting a good heel into the floor. And then we're going to focus on being able to get up without bending over onto our leg. Because that makes it ineffective. Nice. What we're going to do here is put our hands on our hips if you can. We're going to start to ask our hips if they can face the wall. Nice. We're going to focus on pushing this heel into the floor and then we're going to drive, oh yeah, we're going to drive our hips into that heel. Nice. We're going to hold it here for a little minute. One of the most painful but one of the most effective stretches. And uh, I was actually suffering quite a lot. I was doing a lot of training um, a few years ago uh, and overuse really. I was teaching a lot of classes as well and my back was not happy about it. Uh, luckily for me, uh, I actually had a good friend who knew a lot about uh, good effective stretches and he knew about my history of surgeries and he just gave me this and this was just absolute magic. So I've never stopped teaching it since. Perfect, love it, well done. We're gonna get off of there and we're gonna finish on our last one. We're just gonna end up on the floor. We're gonna have a good little lay down. If you need a towel or a t-shirt or whatever it is, you can do that and just push, uh, put it round your thigh. But if you can grab it, I want you to grab it and I want you to try and put your shoulders on the floor. Nice, we're gonna do some quick circles. This is more of a bonus for you really, but you'll feel this in your ankles and your calves. We'll do 10 one way, we'll do 10 the other. That's because those ankles, we've got to look after them. I know, nice. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to straighten this leg and I want you to point that toe all the way down to your face. It's another one that you feel, <laughs> but it's another one that's super effective. So I just want you to grin and bear it and hold it. If your leg is shaking, but you're feeling it, it's good. It means that you're literally working on the edge of its uh, range of motion there, and it's perfect. Nice. We're just gonna hold that for a few seconds longer. Nice. Love it. Let's put that down on the floor. 
and we're going to change it over. We're going to bring one in. We're going to point those toes up to the floor. Please don't try to get your upper body involved. That's why we try to put our shoulders on the floor. So it's all about the leg. Nice. We're going to do those big rotations just to look after the ankles there. Nice. Well, and the calves, really. You can feel it when you do it. It's perfect. Love it. We're going to finish this off by straightening this up. You're going to point that toe all the way down to your face. You're going to hold it where it hurts. It hurts. I'm going to grin and bear it. Whilst we're doing this, I'd also say that it doesn't matter if your leg doesn't come up all the way. When I first started doing uh, hamstring stretches, I literally was maybe here. It hurt so much for me. Um, if you don't know my history, I did have uh, two back surgeries to correct scoliosis and it left me with an, an, a massive amount of nerve damage and I had to learn how to walk again. And uh, yeah, hamstring stretch has been in there for years and I've not stopped doing them because they're amazing. Okay, and there you go. That is a great little session. Literally, you can get that done in 10 minutes. Um, and it's really just going to help you feel nice and loose and open for the day. Um, so I hope you found it useful. It's good if you do nothing. It's good if you sit down. It's great if you sit down all day. It's great if you work out. It's great if you're a runner. Um, it's great if you're feeling aches and pains of daily life. Get moving, people. There's my cat just rolling down the window. Um, perfect. Um, love it. Did any of you manage to do that with me? If you did, please tell me and tell everybody else about it. As I was saying, I did this. Uh, I did one like this a couple of weeks ago and there was a beautiful woman in there who wasn't expecting to feel any difference. I'm sure she was just like sick of feeling the pain, but she did it. She did it with me and she was so amazed that she literally ripped there and then. I'm going to dig out the photos, I'll show you it. Um, so if you are sitting there and you're like, oh God, I am in pain, I am feeling stiff and sore, check it out. <laughs> um, perfect. And if you're checking me out later, please do say hi. I always love to hear from you. And let me know if you are feeling aches and pains of daily life and maybe I can help you out with it. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> thank you all so much for always being here and uh, please hit that share button if you did do it because chances are if you did it and you felt amazing for it there's definitely people that you know that are also complaining of being uh, sore and achy and uh, maybe you can convince them to do it as well that would be great have an amazing day and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow I don't know what day it is I think it's postural corrections so I'll see you then. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>